Hello everyone, Barb here from barbaderholt.closetomyheart.com. I need to create a little gift bag. I'm going to decorate the bag. This is our bag I bought probably at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I am giving a little gift as a thank you for a customer who shared her catalog and the friend of hers ordered something from me. I'm so excited. Um, but I like to give a little special gift when that happens. So I took a strip of some leftover pattern paper. This was from, I think, the November, December um, mix-in set. A lot of black and white stuff in there, and I, I love that. This black is pre-printed on the gift bag. I also pulled in some card front stencils. This is pack number two, and I'm using kind of a floral design. I've got white daisy that I cut with buildable tags. Um, this one right here, so this kind of oval shaped one, and then the new fancy doily. I used the little tiny one, and that's from the fancy doilies. That's brand new. I'm also using a sentiment off of this In Full Bloom card making workshop stamp and thin cut set. Um, this was exclusive to the workshop. I think they got more of those in, but I have this You're the Best. I thought that was appropriate. The first thing I'm going to do is my stenciling. I am keeping this super simple, so I'm using plain black ink, and I've got my ink blender. I have a piece of white daisy, and I took some purple. It's a low-tack tape, sort of like a painter's tape, and I put it on the back side. And I've got painter's tape holding down my stencil. And I'm going to put this under here, get it lined up where I want it. And then I'm going to push it down so that that tape attaches my tag to the stencil so that it doesn't wiggle around as I vigorously go about ink blending. Got my black sponge here. And I am going to tap it off a little bit and do a little ink blending. I'm doing little circles. And the tapping it off helps you to not end up with such harsh lines when you bring your ink blender to the paper. Now this is a little bit on the delicate side, so you can't go crazy with it. Um, in fact, even some pouncing might work. It gives it a little different texture. I'm not looking for perfect. I'm just looking for, you know, that little pattern to show up. So I'm going to pull this off. And I think that's really lovely. I think that that turned out beautifully. Um, I'll save my tape. I use it until it can be used and no more. And then I'm going to move this over. I can set that aside. I'm going to I'll clean that, but it's ink, so I think I'm okay letting it sit. Oh, and I closed this up, didn't I? I have a piece of white daisy cardstock here. Sorry for my head in the way. And I'm going to grab the little foam pad that comes in all of our stamp sets. Again, ink it up, look through the block, and I'm going to go down come up. Ooh, that looks nice. I got my stamp chamois here. There's a little damp on one side so I can wipe that off. And close this up so disaster doesn't strike. I am going to take my scissors and I'm just going to use my scissors to trim this out. If you want to be more precise, you of course can get out your paper trimmer. A little guillotine style would probably work the best. Um, and I'm going to trim a little off of the other side. Not going to worry about perfection. Then my thought was, I'll get that out of the way. I'm going to glue this on so that it hangs off the edge a little bit. That should work. Just kind of scattering the glue on there. I'm going to hit about the halfway point, and that should be fine. Put that on, hold it down, and I think.
think I think I might do a flag banner on each end. I think I like that better. And that's the beauty of creating with paper. You can change your mind as you go. Oh yeah, I like that better. And I think I'm going to pop that up a little bit. Got my big roll here. I'll whack off a hunk and cut some slivers. I think that might work on there. Yes, that'll be good. Pull off the backing. That's probably the hardest part, is trying to get that backing off. <laughs> I know you know what I mean. And I like that. Bring the bag in, and I'm just going to set this I think at a little bit of an angle like that, but I want to put a little bit of twine in there. I have some black and white twine. I'm going to loop a little bit through, and then I'm going to take another piece. this. Will it work? Yes, I think it will. I'm going to double knot it, call it a day. You wouldn't have to put the twine on, but I don't know. I think it makes it look a little more finished when you have a little, a little something going through that, that hole on the tag. Trim off a little bit of this. little glue. it at a little bit of an angle, just like that. Stick your hand in the bag to give yourself something to press against. I already have the goodies in the bag and I was too lazy to take them out, so that's why I'm making it look so much more difficult. Then I also have this little tag I could hang on there maybe, but you know what? I think that looks good. I think that looks just fine the way it is. So I think we're going to call that done. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed crafty day and I'll see you.